Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really really well. In today's video, I have a skincare review video from the Kiehl's Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. If you guys want to know the purpose, the ingredients, what is it good for and all my thoughts about this toner, then keep on watching. Now before I start this video, not gonna lie, I was someone who wasn't using toner at all. I thought that toners are something that just a waste of money, a waste of your time and waste of a step. Of your skincare routine you know however toners do make a difference it's not like the world's most important skincare routine step that you have that you need to have in your skincare routine basically but no 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 it is definitely as its benefit is basically it has its benefits and it also got the disadvantages but in terms of the usage of using a toner it's very very nice and you will definitely see an improvement on your skin surface now toners are something that mattifies your skin obviously when you have a toners are basically something that you use after your face wash before your moisturizer once you use your face wash your pores are open and with the toner what it does it kind of closes those pores and also mattifies your skin leaving your skin basically giving your skin a nice shield of protection as well as also making it ready for the next step for your moisturizer. You'll find all sorts of toners and all sorts of toners by mean I mean you'll find all sorts of toners in terms of the kind of purposes. You'll find like acne toners that's good for acne, blemish prone skins. You'll find toners who are just mattifying. You'll find toners which give you a nice glow. So and nowadays in this generation there are so many different types of toners in the market out there. But I was lucky enough to be gifted this product from Kiehl's. So this is a calendula herbal extract toner made with wallflowers and pure extract. Now, this is how it looks like. You might be thinking, what's inside of this toner? Let me guys show you. Let me shake it a little bit. I think this is one of the most beautiful bottles of toners I've seen. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's got like flowers inside this, like calendula flowers. It is so, so pretty. Oh, can you guys see? It is just so, so pretty to look at. And I love this whole packaging as well of that. I'm going to get into packaging a little bit later. But this exact toner, what is the actual purpose of this toner? So it's good for it gently cleanses and refreshes facial skin designed to suit problematic skin areas uh, tested on blemish prone skin formulated calendula beetroot extract and alatoin it's alcohol free it's non-condemic it's for normal to oily skin types including sensitive skin it's basically a customer's favorite um, and also basically it's got really really lovely reviews as well it reduces visible um, blotchiness on surfaces basically of your skin so it's a very lovely toner to use in terms of toners obviously there isn't a like a main main kind of benefit that you'll get in terms of like if you compare it to like a moisturizer or serum basically a toner is there to kind of clean your skin help the skin soothe the skin and basically refreshing the skin cells in general let's talk about the three key ingredients of this toner so it's got calendula so calendula is the mediterranean calendula extract and the petals which are known for their skin soothing properties and commonly used in skincare products for oily skin types for many centuries calendula has been highly rated regarding as a herb and bold kind of traditional chinese practices so it's really like a beautiful soothing flower the next key ingredient is a new ingredient for me is alatoin alatoin is a compound found in the roots of the plant a hairy uh, herb along use in herbal medicine is also known to suit and comfort the skin so both of these ingredients work really well together and the last key ingredient is great burdock root so this has been used for many centuries to moisturize dry skin known for its soothing properties again is also believed to reduce oil. These three flowers have been used in this ingredients basically list uh, in order to make this toner nice and soothing, nice and kind of refreshing as also reducing the oil on your skin. So this is the main kind of purpose of this toner. As I said, it's alcohol free, uh, really good, lovely ingredients in this. And also in terms of the smell, 
it has a very nice soft not like really soft it's, it's definitely floral it has a soft floral kind of scent to it so it's really really lovely to use and also I've been loving using this every single morning. So in terms of the usage, I've been using this every single morning in my skincare routine after the face wash, before the moisturizer, put it on a cotton pad and just gently wipe it on my skin like that and also on my forehead and on my nose. And after that, my skin feels nice and refreshed and kind of like, not. it's definitely mattified. So in it gives a very nice, it doesn't leave like a harsh residue. It gives kind of a very lovely residue onto my skin, a very nice and re refreshing residue, which I really, really like. So I've been using this for three months now and four months now, and you guys can see my skin is in really, really, really good condition at the moment. It's super soft, super like, the texture is just so good. Obviously, I've been using retinol as well, which has been helping as well. So as I said, I've been using this uh, toner for three months now and my skin afterwards feels super nice and super soft and I really, really like it. And overall, I have nothing bad to say about this toner. It's such a beautiful, beautiful toner. And I really, really actually enjoy using it every single morning. And uh, you guys can see, even though I have used it for three months, I feel like I barely used it because you don't need a lot of this as honestly this bottle will last me for a very very long time and hence why I'm like yes please I want more of this. In terms of the packaging obviously the packaging looks like this in a glass bottle and it's got obviously the stopper that most of the toners has and I freaking love this packaging so much. It looks so nice on my bathroom shelves. It looks like a skincare apothecary kind of looking like glass bottle and obviously it's glass super super lovely quality however i feel like that i have like a limited packaging maybe this was the packaging that they had before i'm really not sure maybe this was limited and they don't actually don't do this packaging anymore they have changed the packaging to this kind of plastic packaging which obviously is good for the environment I don't know what's better, glass or plastic. Uh, both of them are quite bad for the environment, but they've changed the packaging to a kind of plastic packaging. I'm gonna insert this picture on the screen. It looks like this. So this is a 250 ml, which should retail for 39 pounds. And they have a 500 ml, which retails for 57.50. In terms of price points, yes, it's not the most cheapest toners and also not the most expensive toners, but it's kind of more, the 250 ml is quite reasonable, so it's really, really lovely size to try it out and see how it looks on your skin. Um, my size is a 230 ml, so definitely this size they don't make anymore, or the packaging they don't any make anymore. So it's a different kind of packaging that I have and the different type of bottles and yeah. That's the packaging. Would I recommend this toner to you guys 100%? If you're looking for a new toner, if you have blemish, sensitive, normal, dry skin, this is for all skin types, so definitely go and check this out. It's super, super lovely. You don't need a lot of this on your cotton pad. One little kind of dollop is enough, because you guys can see I have barely, barely used it, even though I got it for three months now. And it's alcohol-free. It's got beautiful, beautiful flower extract ingredients, which help for soothing your skin, refreshing your skin, and also making it nice and mattified and glowing, and also ready for your moisturizer. So overall, I would recommend this toner. It is super, super lovely, and you guys can see how my skin looks at the moment and sorry about my messy hair right i'm gonna finish this video up in here hope you guys found this video all informative and liked it if there's any other type of questions i haven't answered regarding this toner then please please do let me know in the comments down below i'm happy to answer your questions over there as well hope you guys find this video all informative and liked it so if you didn't please give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more skincare review videos like these I have nothing else to say except thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I will see you guys in my next video.